Hello friends, once again welcome back to M Square Automation Solutions. If you are a no code enthusiast and started developing your no code integrations in Make, you would have come across terms like array, collections, JSONs, etc. And you would be bewildered or confused how will I solve? How will I get an item from an array? How will I extract an item? from an array i would have come across a nested collections or nested array how will i get it based on a label if i have 10 items in a type form entry or in a calendly answers how will i get an item based on a question it's a big question that comes if you are a beginner in make platform right and it's very easy to crack just follow a few steps you would have asked these questions in the community discos and everywhere and write one single answer you might get use map function and how will you use so by the end of this video if you are a beginner to make.com and being non-technical you are going to crack map function very easily and anytime any collections come any array or inside array or nested array comes you will be easily able to crack it up believe me just keep watching the video till the end and you will be able to crack it so let's start i have come with a sample json structure here and i have passed the json using parse json module forget about those terms now right now think about uh, you have submitted a calendly and you got an output from Calendly. Actually, this is a Calendly output, whatever you see on the screen. So here you can see there is a question and answer array. I hope it's visible to you, right? So there is a question and answer array. There you can see some of the questions like what's your company name and someone has input. So this is a question in Calendly. You are having a Calendly. Imagine you have a Calendly and you are you are asking four to five questions. And in one of the question you ask, what's your company name? So the answer they have input is M score automation solutions. What's your country? Uh, what is the call agenda of the meeting and the product interested? Suppose these are the questions you ask in Calendly and this has to go to Monday or Notion or whatever it is. So you have to pass it or you have to extract. You have to extract one of the answer based on a question. So you can see clearly it's an array array includes many many collections and i wanted to extract as a uh, as a beginner i'm just thinking how to extract the answer for a particular question so we are going to learn how to do that right now so i'm just going to crack any formula or function to test it out before passing to any other app i would recommend you the easiest way is to use set variable so i'm just using set variable okay so i'm just using set variable and i wanted to get from this array i wanted to get the question uh, sorry the answer new product inquiry new product inquiry for the call agenda so i'm just putting the question as call agenda so the variable name is call agenda so in if it is monday.com you will have you will have the column call agenda and in the monday module you will be mapping the answer here now let's see i just clicked on the variable value if i open this if i open this question and answer i can see only just one item there were many collections four collections but i could see only one answer and one question that is product interested and this would be the last collection of this array so what is array array is a array is a data type actually having many collections and you don't have to worry about that too much okay so just see here in this question and answer the last collection is the product interested and you want call agenda the answer for the question call agenda so here you have to use in this case map function so how will you use map function so don't think about many things what is map and all just type map and just put a round bracket and if you go to the array functions right array functions you can see here map functions you will be able to see the map functions and you can mouse over to the map function to see what is map and it explains a lot you can go through that but just just follow what i'm saying you will be easy you will it will be more easy for you to understand so now i'm going to tell I wanted an answer or an item to be extracted 
from this array of array having many collections so in that case i have to use map function i have to pass here what to map or which is the array so the if you mouse over you can see the first argument it says is the array so i have to select the array so just click on here and you can see the array is question and answer from questions and answers array i have to get the answer for a particular question now so this is the first argument just put semicolon it will jump to the second argument now what i want that's the first thing i want answer right i want answer so in map function the second argument is what do you want from this array so i want answer in order to get answer i have to put the label name answer but it's not just the label name that you see it's the internal label id i would say to get it just mouse over here just mouse over here so you can see in a bots answer sometimes you could see a very good label there like a, a name or something but the id would be one two three etc so it's very important you just mouse over here you will get the exact internal id so it's answer so from this array you are you need to get answer so i just typed answer so what we want that's the second argument now from out of this right on what basis i want to get the answer on what basis that i have to tell so if i go here again i will tell i'll tell i want this answer when my question is call agenda so questions internal id is question itself mind about the case sensitiveness also if it's small letters everywhere you have to use that right so it's question in the bots you can see the bots and just copy the call agenda exactly it should be uh, exact case matching so i'm just putting question then semicolon it jumps to the final argument and just pasting call agenda then closing the bracket with round bracket sorry closing the function with round bracket now you see here i'm saying i wanted to map i wanted to use map function for the array questions and answers where i wanted to get my answer that's a second argument on what condition the condition is the question is call agenda so for this question call agenda i want the answer that's how if you are a beginner if you are a non technical person you have to learn the map function and this will help you throughout so just i'm running pressing okay and i'm running this let's see the output you can see here you got the answer new product inquiry so that's the agenda you could see here in questions and answers new product inquiry was the answer now if you examine again the answer it has come in the form of an array so there is no guarantee or map is an array function and it will it will return an array itself but whenever you map in a column on monday column it might be a test field or it might be a multi select field where you need to map it as a test value not an array value in that case so you can see call agenda is returned as an array and it the first index in the first index it give you it gave you no product new product inquiry so in order to get this extracted there is a function known as get function so if you go go to general functions you can see here get function just just mouse over her just mouse over over here you can see what is get function so if you pass an index to an array index to an array you will get the value so suppose i have an array of uh, a b c d and I, I pass one as an index to the get function of that array i'll get a two means i'll get b similarly if it's a collection collection you have to pass the name so whatever you mouse over right you mouse over that as i shown you you will get the name so you need to pass that instead of index so now as i said you you we got an array of one item so to extract to extract that as an item we have to use get function now where should i use get get function on top of this array 
I have to use get function on top of this the output so I have to give here get just put get function here and put semicolon at the end so I'm just saying to this array apply get function and from this get function what I have to from this array what I have to get the first item so I just passed one close in the bracket press ok and run it out you can see new product inquiry has come so similarly you can extract all the items here so if you come here you can use set multiple variables and you can put different names like product interested product interested similarly call agenda just copy this formula call agenda for the product interested you have to change the question so you are going to say i want answer from this array where my question is call agenda but now my question has changed it's product interested so just go to the questions and answers you can see product interested is this label this value uh, for the question this is the value just copy that and just change the call agenda and now let's run this you can see the product interested is youtube automation and call agenda is new product inquiry now there is one more method there is another method to crack this so you can easily crack it by using indexing so instead of mentioning these labels product interested call agenda you can pass indexes in the math function but i would recommend never go with indexes because the indexes can change based on the results suppose if you take some apps like notion or some other apps the if you are filling some of the custom field and some you are not filling it can vary like uh, the labels are always constant as long as you don't change it but the output results or the count of the results may vary uh, here and there so I would recommend don't go with the indexes and follow the labels uh, as long as you don't change the labels in the currently or anywhere notion columns etc i hope you enjoyed learning get and mac function if you really like this video more videos are to follow just like it up feel free to put your comments and share it to everyone thank you we'll come back soon bye